Hello, boys and girls! Welcome to another segment of story time with your children's ministry teachers. I'm Miss Greta, and I'm so excited because I get to share another story with you today. But you know me, I always like to give you a little hint about what the lesson's going to be about. And my hint for today is my shirt! It says, Akuna Matata. And that means no worries. No worries. But everyone worries, right? Everyone gets scared. Everyone gets nervous or shy or anxious. But what do you do with those worries? Well, in our story today, we're going to be learning how or who we can give our worries to. Okay, you guys ready? The book is called Whatever is Lovely. It's a lesson on peace, and the author is Susie Pohl. So let's get started. There are things that make me feel afraid. Oh, it looks like that little boy's afraid of that alligator. He looks like a pretty scary creature, that's for sure. And things that make me sad. Oh, it looks like she's alone. Two girls are playing and she's being left out. That's so sad. And sometimes life seems so unfair. Do you see her right over here? Her plant looks like it's thriving. It's doing really well. But his isn't doing so well. I think that makes him a little sad, guys. But I won't worry about things. I'll talk to God and he'll help me. Ooh, it looks like that little boy's doing the right thing. He's praying to God. He's praying to the one who can help him. And then I think about whatever is lovely. What do you see that's lovely in the picture, boys and girls? I see a butterfly. Do you see the butterfly right there? Oh, I see a cute little puppy. Oh, she has a puppy too, a doggy. Oh, those are lovely. And some flowers. I'll think about things that are amazing. Wow, those are some amazing bubbles. Goodness, they have so many colors in them. Things very great. Wow, that is a great elephant, a massive elephant. Things very small. Oh, look it. They have little chickies there. They're so cute and fluffy. I'll think about someone who is kind. Well, it looks like she's been crying, guys. But perhaps her mom or auntie or teacher or someone very special in her life is just caring for her. That's very kind. And how I can be kind to... <gasps> Do you see that little girl fell out of her chair and now she's being kind to her? That's so lovely. Because this makes God happy. It's a great way to live. Isn't that amazing, boys and girls? Well, this story, I believe she got her idea from Philippians chapter 4. In fact, on the back it says she did, based on Philippians 4, 8, and 9. What's wonderful about that is the Bible addresses our worries. He says, do not worry, and not to be anxious, but instead to come to him and lay your cares, your worries to him, pray to him, ask God, please help me with my worries today. And then he also says a little bit later, meditate, think about, Focus on things that are wonderful and true and lovely. So maybe perhaps today you can think about the wonderful things in your life, like your family, or the fact that it's bright and sunny today, um, the fact that we have shoes and water, and we have so many things to be thankful for. So when we start focusing on the things that we have, the things that uh, we've been blessed with, it will help us to let go of our worries. But the first thing we need to do, guys, is to pray, to give it to God, because he's the one who can help us with our worries, okay? God bless you, and see you next time. Bye-bye.